This is the amazing Tony Award winning choreographer and director who took New York by storm. He's also a judge on So You Think You Can Dance and has nominations and awards at the Wazoo. He has worked with the Toast of Broadway and movie stars and has blazed a trail since arriving in 2000. He's been my friend for over 30 years and I'm excited to chat with him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Warren Carlisle. Oh, oh, I love you. You I'm have so to have this to song. See you. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe it's over thirty years. I I know. I was thinking about how we met and when we met, and that was yet yeah, <clears throat> it's a few years ago now, Warren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh! Do you remember we were doing cats, right? Yeah, that's when we that's first right. met. That's right. And were you Mon monkey strap? Uh, Alonzo, <laughs> and I understudied monkey strap. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh. What a brilliant show that was for a dancer, oh, right? Oh, so good. So, so good. A and really good one. With Gillian Lynn. Yeah. Like, yeah. that was, for, for us starting out, that was just, like, phenomenal. Yeah. The best training in a funny way, you know, having to sing like that and dance like that eight shows a week was yeah. such good training for the rest of our lives. It that really discipline was. discipline required to do that. Oh my goodness, the discipline is of a dancer, I think, just takes you through every, every part of your life. From when you, yeah, cause you, you started dancing as a child, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I think I, think I was 10 when I started. Right. But it's funny, I, I, as soon as I started, I was completely serious about it. Well, you, totally like, you knew, you were like, yeah, that it was is my never mission. a hobby. I think from like day two, it was a complete career. Really? Yeah, totally. I was obsessed, obsessed by it. And I am still, I'm still obsessed yeah. by it. Well, that's what drives you, drives you and gets, has got you to where you are today, you know? Because it has to be, you have to love it with passion, don't you? Yeah, I, yes. To get I to agree. the top of the it's tree. So hard. It's, it's so hard. Even, even the other day I was thinking, you know, I've been in New York for 20 years. And I was thinking about my third chapter. I was like, well, maybe it's time for, to reinvent. Maybe it's time, a new time. Maybe it's time to pivot. Maybe I should be thinking about something else. But I, I love it so much. I don't know how I would ever come to another career because I really, I'm still passionate. I'm still madly in love with it. Yeah, so why, why you don't need to? Because you have so much amazing work happening. But, you, but it's funny that you would think about pivot seems to be the word of the, of the Yes. The last sort of eight weeks, what are we going to do? What, how are we going to pivot? But I mean, you don't need to, so which is fabulous. But it, it is scary thinking that, um, you know, there are no audiences right now on Broadway and the theatres are shut. That must be so weird. It's, re it's really interesting. And, and for me, I get all of my energy from my dancers. I get all of my energy from rehearsal. Yeah. You know, it's really, that's been the biggest shift for me personally has just been, I just miss, I miss my people. I miss yeah. my tribe of people. Yeah. I miss being in that studio every morning at 8.30. I miss the energy I get from that. And, and I miss being able to go to a Broadway theater and, and be an audience and, yeah. and see friends in shows and, and see things that move me or things that inspire me. Yeah. I, I can't wait to, to get back to that. Me too. There's nothing like a theatre, like a Broadway theatre or a London theatre. There's the smell, the, the noise, the orchestra warming up. There, there's nothing like the excitement and the, when the overture starts. What's your favourite part? Um, you know, when I was a child, I used to love the smell of dry ice. Oh. I used to love the smell of dry ice. I, I get know, it. This is a very honest, this is a very honest conversation, <laughs> a very strange conversation. But I loved the smell of it. I was in the national tour of Oliver. I was oh, at the wow. Theatre Royal Norwich, which is where I grew up, the city yeah. I grew up in. And I think I was workhouse boy number 11 or something. Oh. I mean, like a no-name, no-part orphan boy. <laughs> and I've never been happier because there was dry ice. It oh, was that kind God. of like London fog. And literally before the show, I used to lie on the floor near the dry ice machine and just inhale. <laughs> Inhale this stuff. I loved it. So now, to, still to this day, whenever there's dry ice in the air or whenever there's fog of any kind, I'm yeah. always like, oh, oh, I'm happy. Oh, just the, the, the smell of it. Now, of course, I'm sure it's much safer. I'm sure the guidelines are much tougher than they were yeah. um, when I was a child. 
but th that's one of that's one of my favorite things. The uh, my other favorite thing is when the lights, when the house lights go out for the first yeah. time. There's, yeah, there's oh, like a goosebumps. moment of silence. There's a beautiful moment of silence, and yeah. then the overture. That's that little moment of silence. I think is I think that's where dreams are dreams are made. Yeah, the anticipation of yeah. what you're about to see. I just seriously got goosebumps, and oh god, there is nothing like it, is there? No, just, and, really, and the moment it's, really of special. it's like a one moment of hush where everyone stops talking take a breath yeah. as you oh, would say as a I choreographer know. yeah <laughs> take a breath <laughs> oh wow so how old were you when you did oliver were you like i think i was 11 i think mm. i was 11. so what was your first dream what was your like okay i want to be in a show i want to be in um, L um london and the theater I think I just, I think I just wanted to dance. That, that's what happened to me is I literally just wanted to dance. I loved it so much yeah. that I just wanted to do that. And then I was able to get a scholarship to a school in London and I was able to go to a full, t a full time performing arts college, oh, wow. then, which was really a ballet school. But then suddenly what happened, like from me being the only boy, suddenly I was surrounded by the boys class. Like there was a whole group of other like Billy Elliot's. Yes, like you. Like, we, were, yes. we were all there. That was yeah. the greatest feeling. The greatest, greatest feeling. Oh. Um, I remember feeling very much like I was at home there. And then of course I improved. I improved so much because every single person was yes. better than me. You know, the standard was very high and it, and it meant I was always kind of looking up. And I still, I still feel like that in my, in my current job too. You know, I walk in the shoes of Bob Fosse or of Jerome Robbins or of yes. Gower Champion or of Tommy Toon. Yes. You know, it's like I, I, I've spent my life kind of looking looking upwards. Yeah, well, we do. I mean, those are amazing greats to follow. They, I mean, yeah. in, in the theatre, musical theatre, there are such an amazing choreographers, directors. I mean, yeah, I, I'm obsessed as a child as well, like you were, of these amazing greats. And now you're doing it and you're creating the new version of that, the 2021 20, you know, version of that. Because the choreography, of course, has completely changed since the days of, you know, Ginger Rogers that my dad used to say to me, you need to dance like Ginger Rogers. You know, nowadays if I was doing a show, I, I wouldn't be able to do your choreography because I just wasn't trained in it, you know. Yeah. I, I probably it's, couldn't it's do it. It's more athletic. It's really interesting. It is more athletic every year. Yeah. You know, it feels like the Olympics. Every, every year in the Olympics, people jump higher or they run faster or they swim faster. And I think yeah. dance is really, I think it's really Olympic in its, in its aspirations. It you know, is. Working, on, working on So You Think You Can Dance is one of my most favorite jobs ever. Yes. Ever, so you... ever, ever. I love, I love working on the show. I think I've done it for five, five seasons. Five seasons, five yeah. Seasons. yeah. And every single time they ask, I jump at the opportunity to be there because the dancers are so, so wonderful. It is, yeah. it is really great. And in a funny way, it keeps me young because I'm having to constantly create for a, for a younger generation of dancer. Yes. Yeah. I, the dancing on that show is phenomenal. And it is like the tricks that they can do. I mean, it's, it's not, you can't just be a good dancer now. You have to be able to do tricks and you have, don't you? I mean, it's just, yeah. I sit there and I watch with my mouth open. The They're so special. And the, and the show, I actually think the show is very special too. I think it's, it's a really great platform for what we do. And it's a platform that, that promotes dance around the world. Yeah. Certainly, certainly in America, you know, people are much more aware of it because of that show. And I think it's season 17 this season. That's wow. really, for any television show, that's incredible. But for a dance, a dance centric show, I think it's really, really special. Very yeah. special. I love it. it. I, I run there every single time I run there. Isn't that lovely to be able to yeah. do that? So you can do the theater and you can do the, the, the TV as well. And then you get to work with Nigel Lithgow too, right? Oh, Two who Brits. I, who I love and Jeff Thacker too. Yeah, Jeff Thacker, yeah. who's wonderful. And Nikki, the director, she's a wonderful girl. Nikki trained, I think, at Italia Conti in London. Oh, wow. It's a really great, there's a great group of people there, a great group of creators. Kat too. Kat, Kat is, Dealey, is, the host. Is, Oh, it's, just, it's family. Every single time I go there, it feels like family. I'm, uh, I'm very, very happy. And you were Doreen Bird boy, I right? I was. And Doreen Bush. Bird for, for one year. And then before yeah. that, I was at a place called Bush Davis. Bush Davis. Sadly, wow. no longer exists. Uh, Bush Davis was my real classical 
training. Yeah. That's my true training was really classical ballet. Wow, which is the foundation to everything, isn't it? The yeah, ballet. It's, it's funny, I, I, I watched the other day, a friend of mine is a wonderful director choreographer called Chris Wielden. And yes. he's very, Chris is very famous and he's extremely talented. And one of his ballets, A Winter's Tale, was streaming from the Royal Opera House. So oh. I sat the other afternoon, I sat at two o'clock in the afternoon and I sat on the couch and I watched this glorious ballet. And it's, firstly, Chris is, a, I think, a, a genius. A, yes. Like, no holds barred genius. He's a genius. Yes. But it's such a beautiful art form. It's really, it really can transport you when it's good. It really does without a single word. That's what I loved about it. Yeah. You know, so much of what I do now is it's direction and choreography, but it's within a Broadway kind of platform. So it requires speaking and it requires singing. But Chris was yeah. able to tell this Shakespearean story without a single word. Yeah. I thought it was wonderful. If you have a chance, check out, um, I think it's the Royal Opera House or the Royal Ballet. It's on YouTube. It's a winter's tale. It's winter's very, tale. very okay. special. You'll see some great dancing and you'll get a good hit of uh, culture. I will. I wrote that down. I will. We'll put that up for everyone to go check it out. Yeah, I love things like that. You know, I love going to the ballet. I don't go to it very often, but here at the Armisen in LA, you know, we do get some lovely ballet come, yeah. come through. And I try and see as much as I can because I miss it. And I miss the noise of the, of the, the shoes know, hitting the, the floor. Because right? yeah. cool. I have a thing about feet. Yeah. First thing I watch of a dancer, anywhere, TV, theatre, is feet. I love beautiful dancers' feet. That is weird. Well, they, they don't lie, right? The feet, yeah. feet do not lie. They do not lie. You love the smell of dry ice. I love, no. But I don't love feet in real life. I only love dancers' feet when they're dancing. Oh, <laughs> Which is weird. Do Just you miss it? it? Charlie, do you miss it? Do you, do you miss know, performing? If, I... I, yeah, I will always, if you say to me, who, who are you? What do you do? The first thing I would say is that I am, a, I'm a dancer. That is my, who I am. I'm a gypsy in my heart and I do miss it. But I, um, 30, you know, 30 odd years that I did it for, I started very young, right out of school. Um, yeah, 16. So yeah, right out of school. I do miss it um, immensely. Oh, but so good. You were oh, so good. Well, I have a lot you to thank so you were so good. For. I was really inspired by you. I loved, I loved watching oh. you. I loved watching you. You were oh. very, very special, always. And in the, in the early years and in the middle years too. Like, middle I, years. I always thought you were very, very special. Oh, Super bless your special. heart. Thank you. Well, I have a lot to thank you for. You know, my Broadway debut is you put me in the producers. So with Stro. So I have a lot to, to thank you for. But I, I do miss it. But I do feel that my weddings and everything, I'm putting on a show now. So now I'm the producer. Now I'm the choreographer, the director. So it's, I mean, I guess I'm in my third act now, really, and just producing shows. So I get the same adrenaline that I did performing, funnily enough, I do get it from, yeah. from creating magic for my couples now. It's very weird and I never thought I would ever, ever do anything different, but it's amazing what comes your way and you just- Well, you can use all the experience. That, that's the thing I love about what you do now is you're taking yeah. the experience of your previous life and you're, and you're folding it into what you're doing now. All yeah. of the discipline, all of the planning, all yeah. of the producing, all of the music, all of the way you arrange things. I, the way you see things even, it feels like every time you do one, you're putting on a show. It is, everything I learned from you, everything I learned from all the choreographers, all the directors, you know, I put it into, you know, if the band is, if, if I, you feel it from your heart, you know, you know when you look at something and you can feel it if it's not right and it's off. I, I get that with my weddings, I can feel it yeah. when I know the timing's off and it's a weird thing, I can't explain it or teach it to anybody, it's just inherent in us and that comes from our background I think you know did you, have a, did you have a mentor now doing what you're doing did you have I, someone that helped you into this I did life? yeah very much so it was a chance meeting with this amazing British lady called Pauline Parry from Good Gracious wow. Events who took a chance on an un I, you know I've had amazing people take chances on, a, on an unknown girl and uh, trained me and um, it was like stepping, it was like I had just stepped into another Broadway show by stepping into Good Gracious Events. I started at this company that was phenomenal. So it's, it's weird how things happened in my life, you know? But um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. But at what point in, in London did you decide that you wanted to go to New York? Um, you know, I think, uh, I have to say meeting Susan Stroman was a big part of that. 